Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Continental drift describes one of the earliest ways geologists thought continents moved over time. This map displays an early, supercontinent, Gondwana, which eventually moved to form the continents we know today. The theory of continental drift is most associated with the scientist Alfred Wegener. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Continental drift was a theory that explained how continents shift position on Earth's surface. Set forth in 1912 by Alfred Wegener, a geophysicist and meteorologist, continental drift also explained why look-alike animal and plant fossils, and similar rock formations, are found on different continents. Make your mark, take our lead. The continents do not float on a sea of molten rock. The continental and oceanic crusts sit on a thick layer of solid rock known as the mantle. The tectonic plates do not slowly drift over time because they are floating on a layer of liquid rock. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Scientists believe that Pangaea broke apart for the same reason that the plates are moving today. The movement is caused by the convection currents that roll over in the upper zone of the mantle. About 200 million years ago Pangaea broke into two new continents Laurasia and Gondwanaland. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Tectonic plates are pieces of Earth's crust and uppermost mantle, together referred to as the lithosphere. The plates are around 100 kilometers 62 miles thick and consist of two principal types of material, oceanic crust also called sema from silicon and magnesium, and continental crust Cl from silicon and aluminium. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. When Rodinia broke up, it split into three pieces, the supercontinent of Proto-Laurasia, the supercontinent of Proto-Gondwana, and the smaller Congo Craton. Proto-Laurasia and Proto-Gondwana were separated by the Proto-Tethys Ocean. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Modern geology has shown that Pangaea did actually exist. In contrast to Wegener's thinking, however, geologists note that other Pangaea-like supercontinents likely preceded Pangaea, including Rodinia circa 1 billion year ago, and Panosha circa 600 million years ago. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.